Only a few miles from the center of Kenya's capital city of Nairobi is Dandora, a sprawling community dominated by the city garbage dump. Now home to more than twice as many people as it was planned to house, Dandora is a far cry from the open plains many associate with East Africa. Dandora is a pretty tough place to live for many people. The city dump site for all of Nairobi is located in Dandora. Top of the challenge is that uh, the locals around here face access to healthcare. Uh, so there's a lot of population in the area, but there's very little uh, professional facilities that offer you know, good services to the people. This place, uh, Holy Cross Parish, serves as like an oasis in the middle of Dandora, a place for people to come together, uh, to pray, to gather, to gain encouragement from one another. The people of Dandora face many challenges. Poverty, pollution, and violence are just a few. How can Ford program research, informed by the voices of the most vulnerable, benefit people in Dandora and places like it around the globe? Ford program um, held a year-long learning and listening process. The community talked about lack of access to quality maternal health services for the women when they were going to deliver their babies. The public hospitals tend to get really full and the women experience a lot of mistreatment. My firstborn, I delivered him in Kenyatta Hospital. After I delivered my baby, we were sharing one bed, two mothers. Other beds were, were sharing three mothers. There was no food at all, no warm water. I was shivering, <laughs> no food. In a Ford listening project, women described their need for a safe place to deliver their babies. And then Dora Holy Cross Parish partnered with generous donors to build the Brother Andre Medical Center's new visitation maternity ward. This is our labor ward here. So there's the twins, okay, just born about half an hour ago. And they're under the lamps, okay, to try and keep them warm. The women delivered uh, their babies there. They had hot water for showering, post-delivery, so they were able to get a hot shower. And they said that the food was great, but most importantly, they said that the health workers there were compassionate. They treated them with dignity. They didn't have to share a bed. Now, Notre Dame and Kenyan researchers are studying how better quality care can benefit more women and their children as part of a randomized controlled trial that promises to affect public policy. Some women win vouchers for low cost or even free delivery services at the new clinic. They told me, if you win a photo, you just go there, deliver your baby without paying any money. The nurses are so good, so friendly, so lovely. They just help me. Even after I delivered my baby, I went to take my bath, the, the shower, wow, it was good, the warm shower. Dandora residents also spoke to the challenge of high unemployment. Ford-funded research paired established micro-business owners with new entrepreneurs and found that mentoring makes a big difference. Now women are earning money for their families, and study findings should have impact far beyond. Dora. I started my business in 2014. So I started by selling medicine. My mentor really helped me because I started with something very small. Because I don't have a job, I make uh, this one to be my job. So when I sell, I feed my family. It's when they get uh, uh, their clothing, their food, and their school fees also. Initially, they didn't know how even to do recording, uh, how to go about their businesses, uh, how to do savings. But uh, now, as we are talking, uh, there's a lot of improvement in that. Human development is the Ford program's goal, and research and community engagement, the tools it uses to promote respect for human dignity in communities around the world. Because dignity is not a privilege, but the birthright of every human being.